Hello and welcome to the Artist Lab. I'm your host, Tracy Wilson, and this is our very first podcast of the Artist Lab. Um, We're sponsored by the Artist Empowerment Circle, um, so you can locate them on Facebook. It's a Facebook group, so Artist Empowerment Circle. uh, Be sure to join the group, check us out, and support. Um, Today's show, we're going to discuss art galleries, um, and how to get in, how to present your work best to increase your chances of being accepted into a show. So we'll, um, discuss art galleries, art shows, and, um, or art organizations and just best ways to, uh, present yourself and your work. Um, there's a few reasons why you may want to, um, go the gallery route. Um, I know a lot of artists currently, like myself, are um, looking to sell their work independently with all the technology and social media, but it's also good to um, still pursue the galleries as well. Um, Some of the reasons are because it could increase or result in higher prices um, for your artwork. Um, It could also get you more buyers, and it would have someone else selling your artwork besides you. So um, it would just uh, open another platform or pathway for you to sell your artwork. So definitely something to look into if you have not. Um, so yes, let's get started. And I'm going to provide a lot of tips today, um, on ways to, um, approach and get started with the galleries. And some of these are obvious, but, um, I want, I want to say them anyway. Um, so I just want to give you as much of a thorough, of, um, detailed tips as possible. So our first one would be read every bit of information in the application. Obvious, yes, but you really want to make sure that you read all the pages, give yourself plenty of time, and make sure it's complete and you follow the instructions exactly. Um, Because that can be something that gets your application tossed out. Not because the work wasn't good, but because the, the instructions or the application was not um, followed correctly or um, accurately filled out, you know. So that's tip number one. Um, number two is submit your work early. You definitely want to give yourself time. Again, um, different galleries or organizations, they have uh, different processes and information that they may want from you. Some request CVs, artist statements, things of that nature, and it may take a lot of time to get together. So you just want to um, submit your work early. The galleries, too, um, will appreciate that, and it just um, will make things flow a little easier for you, and you won't be stressed from uh, waiting last minute to meet all the deadlines. Um, so submit your work early and make sure you comply with everything to meet all the guidelines. So if they ask for two to five pieces of your artwork, don't don't show them six. Seriously, like do two to five pieces if that's what they ask for. Submit that because those little things can be something that can get your application um where you wouldn't be accepted um, for that. All right. Um, Third would be present your work in a clean, crisp, professional manner. Um, Presentation is key. Presentation is key. Make them feel like it's Christmas morning when they receive your, when they receive your package of your artwork. So make sure you stand out in a good way before they even see your work. So that's that's number three. Make sure you present in a clean, crisp, professional manner. Um, tip number four, which again is obvious, but be courteous and professional with everyone that you speak to. If you have questions or you, um, you need to call in, speak to everyone in a polite manner. So even if you're frustrated, um, 
you know, don't, don't show them that you no know, bad attitudes. Make sure you are um, polite when you ask all your questions or if you have to call and, you know, be pleasant and accommodating um, so that they'll know that you are easy to work with because that's very important for maintaining or developing relationships with these galleries and um, organizations. All right, tip number five. I know I'm going through these quickly, but we have a lot of ground to cover. So tip number five, do your homework. Research the gallery owners. Research the jurors. Check their bios. Look at their style. Understand what the gallery is looking for. What type of artists do they represent already? You know, does your work fall in line with the type of gallery that it is, with the work that they're showing? So look look at the artists um, that they are representing already. Visit the gallery, visit the website, and just do your due diligence of um, investigating the gallery and the organization and the art show to not only make sure that the, the gallery that, um, is that you're right for the gallery and that the, and that the gallery is right for you. So, um, <clears throat> um, do your homework is tip number five. <laughs> All right. Moving on. To number six, check who you are going to be judged by. That's, um, kind of what I was saying with number five, but you want to check the, f- the fees, the type of shows that they're doing. And again, just make sure it's for you. And don't be afraid to say, hey, yeah, this one's not for me and move on. Um, If it's not a good fit, don't waste your time. Uh, You can approach. um, There's a lot of galleries out there. So tip number six is make sure it's a good fit for you. All right. Tip number seven, dropping off the artwork in person. We, we we touched on making sure your artwork is um, presented in, like it's Christmas morning, but also as artists, you want to be presented like it's Christmas morning. So you want to make sure that you look your best as well. Don't have paint all over you, you know, like you just came from the studio or whatever, I understand, but um, we want to um, look professional and look good as well if we are d- dropping off the work in person t- in, um, to the gallery because that is just as important as the um, artwork itself. The artist is just as important as the artwork itself. I want to say that again. The artist is just as important as the artwork itself. So they want to, the gallery will be looking at you as well. They want to make sure that you would be comfortable meeting potential clients, um, meeting deadlines. Um, you, you'll be evaluated. So just be your best. That's tip number seven. All right. And tip number eight is if you're mailing in um, your artwork, your materials, just make sure they're packed safely and professionally. Again, um, if possible, um, make sure the container that you're shipping it in can be in the um, can be the same container for when they're returning you your work. Again, you want to make things as easy and fluid and simple as possible for the gallery because that will um, make them remember you because they was like oh, the process with you was easy. So um, think about that when you're um, submitting your work by mail. Tip number nine. If you're not proud of the piece, don't submit it. Don't submit just to submit or to try to have the maximum number of pieces. Um, This is your artwork. It represents you. Love every piece and put out every piece that you believe in. Um, Or only pieces, I'm sorry, only pieces that you believe in. So make sure it's your best work in it because it represents you. And if you don't feel good about it, about it, don't don't let it leave the studio. That that would be my tip uh, for for number nine and tip number 10. And I think I'm going to stop with tip number 10 and make this a, a part two 
for our um, gallery submissions because I have so many tips. But um, tip number 10 would be how to, um, <clears throat> sorry, how to create um, your CV for artists or your artist statement. Um, there's tons of articles on that on Google, and I may cover that at a later date. But again, sometimes a lot of the galleries um, request that in their application. So you want to make sure that you have all of that ready and that you don't have to get ready, <laughs> you know, for um, the art shows. If you find out about it, you, you don't have to scramble. You already have your CV, your artist statement, everything's prepared in the right format. And just basically keep that up to date. That's tip number 10. Keep your CV and your artist statement up to date and have those things ready. So um, that's I'm going to stop there for the gallery tips for today's show. And we'll um, have a part two um, following up for next week, a continuation um, for how to present your best um, self and get every and increase your chances uh, to be accepted into a gallery or an art show. So I'm gonna do a quick review of um, of what of the tips again. But it, but number one is read every bit of information. Make sure the application is filled out uh, thoroughly and correctly. Submit your work early to meet all deadlines. It's number two. Number three. Present your work in a clean, crisp, professional manner. Number four. Be courteous and professional with everyone that you speak to. Um, if you have to call in or have questions with the gallery, just be courteous and professional, polite. Tip number five, do your homework, research the gallery, research the artists that they pre uh, represent. And um, tip number six, um, don't be afraid to walk away if the gallery is not a good fit. Um, just move on and and get find a gallery that's more appropriate for you and the type of work that you create. Um, tip number seven, um, be your best when you're dropping off the artwork in, in person and uh, <clears throat> make sure you're presentable and, you know, representing yourself in your best light because, again, they want the artist to be, be comfortable with speaking and meeting with potential clients and buyers of their work. So that main statement is the artist is just as important as the artwork, if not more. So that's tip number seven. And tip number eight is mailing in your artwork. Just make sure everything's packaged safely and, prof and professionally to try to omit um, any potential damages and make things as easy as possible for the gallery when it comes to returning your artwork. All right. And number nine is only submit work that you're proud of. And number 10, have your CV and your artist statement ready. Um, again, that information can be easily located on Google, but have everything up to date. And that is our show for today. Those are the 10 tips to um, increase your chances on getting into a gallery or art show and um, or organization. And that will help to increase your, get you higher prices, um, more buyers, and hopefully have someone else representing you and selling your work. So that's our show for today. Thanks for tuning in and um, to the Artist Lab. Again, I'm your host, Tracy Wilson, and this is our very first episode of the Artist Lab. Thank you for joining us, and we'll be back next week.